Monday night and I'm driving east along the Florida Panhandle to hunt Hurricane Idalia, or not yet a hurricane, but it will be soon. And uh, gearing myself up emotionally for this one, I think it's going to be a tough chase. There's a couple of reasons. One is it's coming in in the Big Bend region of Florida, which is a notoriously difficult area to chase hurricanes. It's all low, flat marshland, very susceptible to major storm surge flooding. There's low population density, not a lot of towns, not a lot of roads. I think it's some of the toughest chase turf in the, in the continental U.S. outside of Louisiana, in fact. And then there's the intensity of the hurricane. Uh, some of the computer models are saying that this thing's going to come in really strong. So you take dangerous chase turf and then you throw a powerful hurricane into it and that spells trouble. there is the thing of beauty that's a full tank of gas which you always want when you're chasing a hurricane in Florida so I got to Perry Florida and uh, check out this gas station behind me it's like a it's like a ghost town I actually thought there'd be a big run for gas I mean the hurricanes coming in this this general direction and I think this place is gonna get hammered pretty good in about 24 hours but right now it's kind of quiet I think now I just need to get some sleep. I'm feeling kind of burned out. All right, just a final look at the computer models and the forecast before bedtime. These are the spaghetti plots, the different computer models showing where they think the hurricane's gonna come ashore. And you can see it's in this big bend region where the Panhandle Florida meets the peninsula. Here's my strategy map for the chase and the red locations are where I have rooms, places booked where I can go. So looks like I've got the potential landfall zone pretty well covered. What time is it? Oh, 7 a.m. <sighs> Big day ahead. I'm just gonna sleep for a few hours and then try to figure out where this hurricane is going, where I'm gonna be for it. Good night. Tuesday afternoon, day before Hurricane Idalia comes roaring in off the Gulf, and I'm heading down to the coast trying to scout locations. It's Tuesday night and uh, things are starting to look kind of serious. I'm looking at these satellite and radar images of Hurricane Idalia and it is definitely getting stronger. It's bombing out. It's a beautiful storm. I mean, it's getting more organized and just getting that classic look to it. But I'm also noticing that it is small. It makes it harder to chase. The target's smaller. A lot more can go wrong. <sighs> And heading back to Perry. That's the that's the middle of the three possible locations for riding out the hurricane. It seems logical to wait in the middle option. 
So the question now is when to make the decision. How late can I make it? Got to make the decision before the weather gets too hairy and trees and power lines start to fall across the roads. So it's going to be a little bit of a gamble. I shouldn't, shouldn't wait too long, but I don't want to make it too early to pick wrong. It's going to be a nail biter of a chase. And it's 1 a.m., end of a long day. I'm going to get two and a half hours of amazing sleep and then go hunt down Hurricane Idalia's eye. Good night. All right, it's quarter to five in the morning. I'm in Perry, Florida, and looking at the radar on Hurricane Idalia is coming right this way and it looks violent. It's got this angry red inner core. It looks like this thing is gonna be a real monster. And uh, so far I'm thinking I need to stay right here. No chasing north or south, just staying right here. It looks like it's coming right here unbelievably. This thing is gonna be wild. Can't even imagine what it's gonna be like here in a couple hours. Check out the radar, look at this. I mean, there's the hurricane, there's that violent little inner core, that ring, and then that little blue symbol, that's where, that's where I am right now. Looks like it's coming right my way. I mean, it looks like I just need to stay put. Wow. driving around Perry. Conditions aren't too bad yet. Of course they're gonna get much worse. Look at the radar and it looks like might have to get a little south of town to get the core. Well it's hard to know, it could just be a wobble. south down the highway down highway 98 toward back towards steen hatchy because the radar suggests that's where the hurricane's going to come in it's skirting a little south of perry it's taking kind of a right turn but there's time the core of the hurricane's still offshore it's definitely time to relocate south of perry now getting a little hairier just before dawn in a good rain band here. Rain and wind just whipping across the highway. Last final maneuvers to punch the inner core of Hurricane Edalia. Conditions getting rough. Looks like this is where the inner core, that inner ring of the hurricane is gonna come in. Conditions definitely getting rough now. into the jaws of the beast. Getting near a little town called Salem and the conditions are improving. They're kind of clearing up a little bit. We're getting into that moat, which is that sort of quieter area that surrounds the inner core of the hurricane. So we get a little bit of a reprieve here, which is good. Good time to kind of catch my bearings and figure out what's next, where I want to end up. Salem, Florida. I went down to Salem. Now I'm heading back north because it looks like I went maybe just a little too far south. It looks like the center's nudging a little north of here. So going back toward Perry, going back north again. Just a little, probably a few miles. I want to get the exact center. Trees are coming down now. It's 
740, I'm on the open highway between Perry and Salem. Center of Hurricane Idalia is coming in right around here according to radar. It's the middle of nowhere. This is where it is. Right up above, it looks like we're getting close to the eye. Brightening like it is. Eight fifteen AM and I'm on the highway a little south of Perry, Florida. I'm in the eye of Hurricane Idalia. You can see it's really calmed down. See the sky's kind of bright. Not too windy out right now. They were destructive a little while ago. Now they're pretty mellow. The eye of Idalia. And heading back north toward Perry, toward that northern eye wall. To see if maybe there's some action up there. A little bit of wind damage. And driving back into the northern eye wall. Conditions getting rough again. I can't see anything. just happened. We had a tremendous burst of turbulence and then it just cleared out and now it's calm. But there was a burst of energy, a very destructive one.
Usually with Hurricanes, it's the right side that's stronger, but in Idalia, it was the left side, the left eye wall that packed the real punch. And unfortunately for Perry, that part of the storm passed right over the city. Perry was the largest city in Florida to get a direct hit from Idalia at Category 3 intensity, and the evidence is everywhere. Lots of destruction like this, roofs torn from buildings, signs blown down, debris littering the streets, and massive tree blowdown. And communications and power are out everywhere. on the Florida Panhandle as the sun's going down. Everything calm and peaceful. After this really weird Hurricane Idalia chase, what a weird storm. It's like to just hit the sack in my own bed tonight. It's gonna be awesome.